You are welcome back to the last part of lecture on current electricity. At the end of this lecture, you should be able to divine the term resistance, resistivity, and conductivity of metallic material and use their formula in solving circuit problems. Now, some material allows current to flow more easily than others, while some do not. The reason is due to the degree of resistance possessed by these materials. So, the time resistance could be defined as the measure of how easily current flows through a material, and it is the ratio of the voltage to the current of the material. And it is measured in ohms. There are some factors that affect the resistance of the metallic material. One, the length of the material. So the length of the material is directly proportional to the resistance of the material. For example, if the length of the material is doubled, then its resistance also doubles. Likewise, another factor that can affect the resistance of the metallic material is the area. For example, when you double the area of the material, it reduces the resistance of the material by half. Also, the term resistivity also is one of the factors that affect the resistance of a material. And lastly, another factor that can affect the resistance of the material is the temperature. As temperature increases, the resistance of the material increases. Now, resistivity. The term resistivity is the product of the resistance R of the material and the area per unit length of the material. Mathematically, resistivity is represented as rho is equal to the resistance of the material multiplied by the area of the material divided by the length of the material. Where rho is the resistivity and it is measured in ohms meter. Note, not ohms per meter. And R is the resistance of the material measured in ohms. A is the area of the material measured in meter. And L is the length of the material measured in the meter. The resistance of a conductor depends on its dimension as well as the nature of its material. Now, conductivity and conductance of a material. The term conductivity is the inverse of resistivity and it is denoted by physics symbol sigma. Mathematically, conductivity is equal to 1 divided by resistivity. Recall, resistivity is equal to rho, uh, resistivity rho is equal to resistance of the material multiplied by the area of the material divided by the length. Therefore, the conductivity is equal to L divided by Ra, that is the length of the material divided by the product of the resistance of the material as well as the area of the material. So the, uh, the part of the conductivity of the material is measured in per ohms per meter or simply cements per meter. So the time conductance is the reciprocal of the resistance. It is a term often used by electrical engineers in preference to resistance. So conductance is denoted by physics code G and it is related to resistance by the equation G is equal to 1 over half. That is 1 divided by the resistance of the material. Since resistance of the material is equal to the length of the material divided by the resistivity of the material multiplied by the area of the material. Therefore, the conductance of the material could be expressed in terms of its length as well as its area to be equal to rho A divided by L. From Ohm's law, we know that the resistance of the material is equal to the voltage divided by the current. So we can also express the conductance of the material in terms of the voltage and the current. Therefore, the conductance of the material is equal to the current divided by the voltage. The unit of conductance of a material is per Ohm's, or simply Siemens. Now, it is time for you to test your knowledge on whether you understand what a conductance, the resistivity, as well as the, uh, um, for the resistivity of material is by answering this question. So, the question is, what equal length of an iron wire and a constant wire each 
one millimeter in diameter must be joined in parallel to give an equivalent resistance of 2 ohms. Taking the resistivity of the ion, the constant to be 10 and 49 micro ohms centimeter. Second question, you are to find the resistance and the conductance of a component. If the component draws a current of 0.35 ampere from 10 volt supply. Solution to example 5A. From the question, the given data are equivalent resistance RT equals to 2 ohms. The resistivity of the ion is equal to 10 micro ohm centimeter, which is equivalent to 10 raised to power minus 7 ohm meter. If you convert from ohm centimeter to ohm meter. Also, the resistivity of the constant wire is equal to 49 micro ohm centimeter, which is equivalent to 4.9 times 10 to the power minus 7 ohms meter. Since the diameter of the wire is equal to the, di since the diameter of the iron wire is equal to the diameter of the constant wire, which is equal to D, and D is equal to 1 millimeter, which is equivalent to 1 times 10 to the power minus 3 meter. From the question, the unknown data is the equal length L of the iron wire and the constant wire. Recall from the formula of resistivity of a metallic material, rho is equal to product of the resistance of the material and the area of the material divided by the length of the material. Therefore, the resistivity of the iron wire is equal to the resistance of the iron wire multiplied by the area of the iron wire divided by the length of the wire, which is L. And the resistivity of the constant wire is equal to the resistance of the constant wire multiplied by the area of the constant wire divided by the length of the constant wire. Since area is equal to pi d squared divided by 4, therefore the area of the iron wire is equal to the area of the constant wire, which is equal to 3.142 times 10 raised to power. 3.142 times 1.0 times 10 to the power minus 3, everything is squared, divided by 4. By simplification, your the area of the iron wire and the constant wire be equals to 0 0.79 times 10 to the power minus 6 meters squared. Therefore, the resistivity of the iron wire is equal to 10 to the power minus 7, which is equivalent to 0 0.79 times 10 to the power minus 6 multiplied by the resistance of the iron wire divided by the length of the wire, equation 1. Also, for the constant wire, the resistivity of the constant wire is equal to 4.9 times 10 to the power minus 7, which is equal to 0 0.79 times 10 to the power minus 6, multiplied by the resistance of the constant wire divided by the length of the constant wire, equation 2. By dividing equation 2 by equation 1, Therefore, 4.9 times 10 to the power minus 7 divided by 10 to the power minus 7 is equal to the resistance of the constant wire divided by the resistance of the iron wire. Therefore, the resistance of the constant wire is equal to 4.9 multiplied by the resistance of the iron wire, equation 3. If the resistance of the iron wire and the resistance of the constant wire are joined in parallel, the call from the combination of resistors in parallel. Their equivalent resistance will now be equal to RT, which is equal to the product of the resistance of the wires divided by the sum of the resistance of the wire, which is equal to 2 ohms in this case, equation 4. By substituting 4.9 multiplied by resistance of the iron wire for resistance of the constant wire in equation 4, therefore we have 4.9 times resistance of the iron wire multiplied by resistance of the wire, iron wire divided by 4.9 multiplied by resistance of the, of the iron wire plus resistance of the iron wire everything equals to 2 ohms this implies that 4.9 multiplied by resistance of the iron wire multiplied by resistance of the, of the iron wire is equal to 2 into bracket 4.9 multiplied by resistance of the iron wire plus resistance of the iron wire by further simplification the resistance of the iron wire will be equal to 11.8 resistance of the iron wire divided by 4.9 resistance of the iron wire, which is equal to 2.4 ohms. From equation 1, since L 
can be since a equals to 0 0.79 times 10 to the power minus 6 multiplied by the strand of the only wire divided by 10 to the power minus 7 by substituting 2.4 ohms for resistance of iron wire in this equation, therefore the length L will be equals to 0 0.79 times 10 to the power minus 6 multiplied by 2.4 divided by 10 to the power minus 7. By simplification, the length of the wire will now be equals to 18.96 meter or 1896 centimeter. Solution to example 5b. From example 5b, the given data is I equals to 0 0.35 ampere and the voltage is equal to 12 volts. While the unknown parameters are the resistance of the material and the conductance of the material. Recall from Ohm's law, our R equals to V divided by I. That is the voltage V divided by current I. From the given data, voltage V equals to 12 volts divided by the current I is 0 0.35 ampere. Therefore, the resistance R equals to R equals to 34.3 ohms. For the second question, since the constant times G equals to inverse of the resistance R, therefore G equals to 1 divided by 34.3 ohms. This implies that G equals to 20.29 Siemens. Now try this exercise. 5. The length of a conducting wire is 60.0 meter and its radius is 0 0.5 centimeter. A potential difference of 5.0 volts produces a current of 2.5 ampere in the wire. Calculate the resistance, resistivity, conductivity, and conductance of the material of the wire. If you have attempted this exercise, compare your answers to the correct answers given at the end of this lecture. If you made one or more mistakes, reduce section of resist resistance, resistivity, conductivity, and conductance of metallic materials you have learned in this lecture. Effect of temperature on resistance of a material. Generally, the resistance of all substances change to some degree with change in temperature. In the case of pure metal and most metallic alloys, the resistance increases with increase in temperature. Carbon, semiconductors, non-metals, and many electronic solutions show a decrease in resistance as their temperature increases. However, special alloys, for example, constantan and manganese, show very slight changes in, in resistance over a large range of temperature. Hence, for practical purposes, the resistance of these alloys are considered independent of temperature. Therefore, the relation between resistance and temperature is given by Rt equals to R0 into bracket 1 plus alpha into bracket T minus T naught. We are RT is the resistance of the metal at temperature T, R naught is the resistance of the metal at temperature T naught, and alpha is the temperature coefficient of the resistance, and it is measured in per Kelvin. Now talk on power and energy dissipation in a DC electric circuit. It is possible to measure the energy in a circuit by measuring the voltage and the current flowing in the circuit. Suppose a current I flows for time t seconds in a component. The charge that flowed led to energy being dissipated in the component. Recall that the charge Q is equal to current I multiplied by the time t, and energy is equal to the quantity of the charge multiplied by the voltage. Therefore, Energy dissipated in an electric circuit is equal to I multiplied by T multiplied by V, which is equal to I square R2, since V is equal to I half from Ohm's law. 
The energy dissipated in an electric circuit is measured in joule. Also, the power dissipation in an electric circuit can be expressed in terms of the energy dissipation in an electric circuit by this formula. P equals to energy E divided by time C. Since energy is equal to IVT, therefore the power is equal to IVT divided by T, which is equal to IV. By further simplification, and a power dissipated in an, in an electric circuit is equal to V squared divided by half or I squared half. We call from Ohm's law. V is equal to I R. The unit of power dissipated in an electric circuit is watt. That is, one watt is equal to one joule of energy dissipated per seconds. Let's solve this question. Example six. A metallic wire has a resistance of 30 ohms at 20 degrees Celsius and 30.16 ohms at 40 degrees Celsius. Calculate the temperature coefficient of the resistance. Question 6b. A current of 0 0.30 ampere flows through a resistance of 500 ohms. How much power is lost in the resistor? Solution. The given data are temperature T0 is equal to 20 degrees Celsius when the resistance R0 is equal to 30 ohms. Also, at temperature T equals to 40 degrees Celsius, the resistance RT is equal to 30.16 ohms. From the question, the one data is temperature coefficient of the resistance, which is denoted by alpha. Recall, RT is equal to R0 into bracket 1 plus alpha into bracket T minus T0. Therefore, by substituting the given data into this equation, we have 30.16 is equal to 30 into bracket 1 plus alpha into bracket 40 minus 20, which is equal to 30 into bracket 1 plus 20 alpha. Therefore, 30.16 divided by 30 is equal to 1 plus 20 alpha. By making alpha the subject of the formula, therefore alpha is equal to 1.00533 minus 1 divided by 20, which is equal to 0 0.0002665 per Kelvin. Example 6b. The given data are current I equals to 0 0.30 ampere. The resistance R is equals to 500 ohms. And the unknown data is the power. Recall, power is equal to I square R, that is the square of the current multiplied by the resistance. Therefore, power equals to 0 0.30 ampere square multiplied by 500 ohms, which is equals to 45.0 watts. Now it is time to test your knowledge on understanding of the power dissipation in an electric circuit by answering this exercise 6. 60 watts by 100 volt tungsten lamp has a resistance of 20 watts at, the, at air temperature 0 degrees Celsius. What is the rise in temperature of the filament under normal working conditions? The temperature coefficient of the resistance of tungsten is 0 0.0052 per Celsius. Question 6b. 12 volt heater takes a current of 0 0.6 ampere. It is left to heat up an aluminum block for a period of 45 minutes. How much heat energy is transferred to the aluminum block? Question 6b. What current is consumed by a 60 watt lamp bulb operating on the 240 volt main supply? We have come to the end of lecture on current electricity. I hope to meet you in the next lecture where we will be discussing principles of electrical measurement. Bye for now. Thank you for listening.